There is so much for you to consider when you're throwing a party, it gets frustrating. I mean, the invitation list, the food, the venue, the last thing that you need is a headache when it comes to the decor. That's why we've invited designer Jennifer Viscozzi to show us the no-hassle way for decorating for a party this summer. Jennifer, you suggest we pick a theme and carry it throughout the entire event, right? That's right. I say whatever kind of party you throw, the first thing you need to do is pick a theme. And then go ahead and start with your invitation. Um, here you can see we've got two different invitations. You can um, either go online and find free downloads. They're mm -hmm. all over the place and you can print at home or if you'd rather hire a professional, go into a local paper boutique and um, have them edit it and print it for you. Um, and what was, is the theme of this party? Okay, so today we're going to work on a barbecue and okay. this is um, a... So this is a barbecue chic. Exactly. <laughs> we kind of wanted to spice it up a little bit, make it look really good without spending a lot of time and spending a lot of money. Okay. All right, let's talk about food because I'm a little hungry and this one likes to eat. Yeah. What about when it comes to appetizers? Okay, so for the appetizers, my tip would be to think simple and think portable. So we created a taco dip, mm. which are in the little cups over here. It's like a seven layer bean dip and we put a few chips in it. Okay. Um, I like the portable appetizers because you can grab it and go, especially if you've got children that you're chasing. Yeah. That's a great idea. And you yeah. can socialize, you can stand up and simply eat that and talk to people without having to scoop your dip on a plate. Yeah. Um, and the same thing with the Prise skewers too. There, it's another appetizer that you can grab on the stick and. Yeah, wow. these are so cute. Look how. Go ahead, Valanda. I know you want to. And no. the basil is actually <laughs> straight from my garden. Oh, nice. Yes. That makes it even better. And hopefully right? in a month, um, the tomatoes I'll be pulling from my garden too. So it's a pretty inexpensive appetizer. The same with the bean dip too, and um, it's easy, quick. If you don't have enough of an item, it's an easy thing to do to just rent. Right? Absolutely. Um, for example, the wine glasses. A lot of people don't store two dozen wine glasses in their yeah. house. And if you're going to have a party of 50 guests, you're going to probably need to rent them. Most people think that it's probably expensive, but you can rent a wine glass for about 50 cents. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And wow. then the great thing about it is, you know, you rinse it really quickly and you throw it back in the crate and then you drop it off and then they clean it. So you don't have to. <laughs> and as an event designer, you can help coordinate all that stuff. Absolutely. All right. So let's talk about the desserts. I'm so excited about this. What do I need to do to like create uh, two different types of really cool desserts? Okay, so let's first talk about the shortcake bar. Okay. Um, I kind of try to think outside the box a little bit, and instead of doing just a strawberry shortcake, um, we s would set it up with different fruits, different, you can do nuts, you can do pineapples, blueberries instead of just the strawberries. Um, and then, you know, the kids like to kind of create the bar too. Yeah. Um, and then also, if you're not really into having to set up a bar and taking the time to do it. We have the cupcakes. You can call your local cupcake shop With and a um, on top. <laughs> yeah, have them create a fondant for you that matches your theme. That's cool. Yeah. And what is the deal what with these the drinks over here? And then as for the drinks, this is a great cocktail drink for um, you know dessert. What we do is we put two scoops of the sherbet in the cup, okay. and um, you know you can add champagne, or if you prefer white wine, you can do white wine with the sherbet, or if you prefer not like a non-alcoholic drink, mm -hmm. then I suggest the Sprite. It also works really well with pineapple juice, cranberry juice. Um, Do you want more? Nice. Uh, yeah. Keep it coming. Keep <laughs> it flowing. I mean. Keep it flowing. <laughs> we keep it real, right? That's and, right. And this is a great drink that the kids enjoy, too. So they love the straws. They love the spoons. It's kind oh. of light. It's refreshing. With some Sprite or something yeah, else. Yeah, for the kids, theirs. you do the yeah. sherbet, the cranberry juice, the pineapple juice, top it off with a cherry. Oh, that's great. Mm, this is really cool. And the straws are funny. It adds that little detail to make your party pop. Um, that's really what I'm all about is trying to add little details to your event to make your event stand out. It's the stuff that guys may or may not notice, but women will definitely notice at the party. Yeah. Absolutely. Even the tent cards. These are kind of a do-it-yourself. You know, you get your paper, you fold it in half, write your item that's on there, your food. If you set up a strawberry bar or the strawberry shortcake bar, you can put your blueberries, your strawberries, And this is inexpensive. I mean, everybody's got paper yeah, around the just house. Do it just take a marker. It doesn't have to be extravagant or costly. That's right. These are great tips. That's great. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. You're welcome. Really appreciate Thanks it. Thanks so much for having me. Have a safe holiday.